Hey, you ready designer one? So in this video, you will learn why auto layout will make a responsive dashboard easy. So if you missed the video on how to do a dashboard with auto layout, please check the link. So in previous videos, what we've been doing is we've been building the dashboard and we've also been creating some components. So we have some icons, we have the brand, we also have a nav item and then a user. And what will happen then is this will then build up a a site or a nav and this card is for the dashboard for different metrics and we use this with a plugin and this is a simple vector and there is an issue in terms of this graph where it is not fluid i'm just going to show how to build the dashboard from scratch do shift i that will bring up the components and the one i want first is the a site and the version I want from there, I'd like to go with the white version. Shift I, now we need the header. Okay, so it's just really nice and quick with components. Shift I, now we need the tabs. Shift I again, and now we need the card. And then we actually want blue. Now we're going to duplicate this another two times. So one, two, we're going to go here and just hold shift and select three. And then we do shift A for auto layout. We want this to be horizontal and we want the spacing of 40. And we're just going to call that row. And then we just duplicate that. And now we can select both of these rows and then do shift A. And then we want that to stack and that has a spacing of 40. And this one we're going to call stats. So this is just a component. You can even make this into a component if you wanted to. So what we're going to do now is just combine these three. So shift A and we're going to call this main. So we're referencing some tags from HTML. And then we just want to combine these two. So shift A with no spacing. And we can just call this home. Okay, so this is all auto layout. Now, one thing to do on here is we don't want any spacing and we want this to fill container and we also want that to fill with the height and the width. Now, if I hit enter, that will select the two childs inside. Now I want it to fill and I want it to fill as well. If I hit enter again, this will then select all the children in there so I want that to fill and I also want the height to fill. Okay, great. Now, one last thing to do is I actually want spacing to be 40 on the left and the right. And I, I hit tab to go across and then 40 on the top and bottom. So you can see the spacing is starting to align very well. And here I want a background of white. And then I just want to change these to the variance. So you can see we managed to quite quickly piece together the dashboard from all of our components and this is the beauty of components and auto layout this is when you start testing things out so you can see here that this is not fluid so if we go into this main container this one we want it to leave us fixed and here we want that to be fill you do that again so this one is filling which is great but the other two aren't so command z so here we can just fill container and fill container so here so now it is nice and fluid now you can see there's some issues where the font is starting to is starting to hide and also this is the issue with the vectors that they're also not fluid but we're going to solve that Let's say that the width is about 1680. If we go a bit more, so here I'm just playing around so you can see it is not working. So what we have to actually do is if I go to the main component. So what we have to do here is to use constraints. So if you go to the vector, we actually need the constraints to be, if you hold shift, we need it to be from the left and the right and we also want it to be from the bottom 
So now you have to do this for all the other vectors. Okay, so the quickly test is shift I card. Oops. Oh, don't know why I put it in there. And now I'm just gonna play around with the width. So you can see now that it is starting to um, adhere to the width and also it's gonna stick to the bottom. So that's great. So if we go back here, we can now see that the vector is starting to constrain to the left and the right and also to the bottom. So this one, if we want to get fancy, we can say fill container. So now we've achieved something quite fluid and this is pretty, pretty nice. So if I go back to 1680 and I'll just say 1080. So now the next breakpoint we want to think about is the iPad. So I'm going to command D and now we can say, hey, we want this to be 1024 by 768. So now you can see that that is just not great. So one of the easiest solutions, and this depends, is to hide the nav. So we can just hide it like that. So now the beautiful thing is now we've done all to layer, you can see it is starting to look it's already fine. Now, one thing we have to do is we have to reduce the font sizes. That's the main thing to consider. So I'm just gonna go into each of these and just change the font size down. So I'm gonna say 48. One thing to bear in mind, if I command D, let's just say that they actually wanted the nav to be there. Okay, so now we can see that the size is just not so great. So one thing to consider is, let's just reduce how many cards we show. So for example, let's think if we stack it, you can see stacking is not gonna work. So probably in this case, which is not so straightforward, we can decide to, if I duplicate that, so this I'm going to say is the red and then this is going to be the orange because what I'm going to try and do is to do two cards per row and then if I just delete that. The last breakpoint is mobile, so if I command D that, so mobile we're going to look at 428 by 926 so 428 by 926 so you can see that went absolutely crazy so here i'm just going to hide the a side menu so now you can see that the tabs are also going out but that's fine because this is going to be um, horizontal scroll but what we can do now is let's just clip the content and we just have to reduce some spacing, but it's pretty much there. We just have to reduce some font sizes. So this one, I'm gonna say, we want it to be 20 on the top and bottom, left and right. This we also want to be 20. This we also want to be 20, 20 and 20. So if I go into each of these rows, so enter, I want that to be 20 as well. Now, one thing that we should probably do is make the font size smaller. So I'm going to say 32. Now, one thing to consider again is the menu. How is it going to look? So if we actually bring this back, so Alt and L will collapse all the layers, which is pretty cool. If I go in, if I bring it back, you can see that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is actually have it fixed so what will happen with the menu is when you hit on the menu icon it's going to come in from the left let's just hide that for now if i command do that we want to show how the menu looks so if i go in we want that to be fixed so we can have that as absolute 
So if I go to absolute, so now that's not affecting layout. That's not too bad at all. However, can they, will they be enticed to click on that? So maybe that is one version and they can click on that button, which will bring up another menu, but that probably won't be great. So command do that. The one I'd rather do is actually make that the full, con the full width. So that would be 428. Great. So this one here, could, probably haven't done that properly well. I want that to fill container. So if I go in and fill container, great. So just a recap where we've done the desktop version by using our components, and then we made an iPad version by hiding the menu. How does it look with the side menu open? So here we just reduced the columns to two, and then we got the mobile version where we also have two columns, and how does it look with the menu? So this appears over the top fixed. And then this is when it takes the full width. So we want that to be right to the edge of so zero. There we go. Same thing for this. We go zero. That'd be right to the edge. So I hope you found this video useful. Leave a like, hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave a comment and let me know how you found the tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video.